Why, if it isn't my underclassman, Sino. What a pleasant surprise it is to see you in Mondstadt during the Windbloom Festival. Greetings, Lisa. Though I'm sure you've been aware of my presence in Mondstadt for some time already. Oh dear, looks like you've seen right through me. But I was in no hurry. I knew we'd see each other sooner or later. Yes. It's just as Professor Cyrus said. Shared aspirations always have a way of bringing people into each other's orbit. <laughs> he always has such a poetic way of wording things. I suppose that's the one respect in which I've taken after him. While in your case... Yes, it's his wit and eccentricities that have left their mark on you. Hmm. I'm not sure that describes me very aptly these days. Given that I'm now the General Mahamatra. Still, if we're going to talk about ways with words, I think my deadpan humor is far superior than our professor's. Is that so? Strange. I heard that you're just Sino the Adventurer when you're in Mondstadt. <laughs> you make a good point. What do you think of Mondstadt during this time of year? It's quite nice, isn't it? Yes, it's very nice. I think I'm starting to understand your reasons for leaving the academia. <laughs> I've always prided myself on making wise decisions, and that was certainly one of them. If our professor had been as sensible as you, he would have had a much easier time in his working life. Being stubborn doesn't help anybody. Well, if even you feel comfortable criticizing him now that he's retired, it really goes to show how much he's changed. Stubbornness is an all-too-common vice among scholars. I hope that never rubs off on you. I'm always happy to see you visit Mondstadt and experience the feeling of freedom for yourself. I heard the latest news about Kale, too. No doubt the traumas of her childhood will persist for a while to come. But I have to say, she appears to be doing quite better this time than on previous visits. I suppose you're something of a mentor to her, aren't you? Now that I think about it, the two of you aren't so dissimilar. The power of Hermanubis once brought you great suffering. That's all in the past now. Besides... Professor thankfully didn't treat me like a test subject for the priest's power like the higher-ups had hoped, even though I was a desert dweller. Instead, he gave me the tools I needed to lead the life I have today. He adopted me, educated me, taught me how to fit into society. I am very grateful to him. You are very gifted. And sometimes that can become its own curse. But he has reason to be grateful to you, too. Without you as his son-slash-student, he may have never changed his stubborn ways. As a fellow student of his, I couldn't be happier for the two of you. Well, look at how quickly this developed from small talk to a deep and serious conversation. That's one thing I do miss about my academia days. By virtue of being another of his students, you were as much a part of Professor's family as I. It's perfectly natural for a daughter to inherit her father's conversation style. If you say so. I suppose that means I get to call you baby brother from now on. Um, uh, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> yes, 
There's the baby brother I remember. 